is next to the Marine. Representatives Elena Ross Leitonen and Duncan Hunter join us. Good evening to both of you. And Congresswoman, first to you. Has anyone asked Sergeant Tamarisi what he would like to do? How he thinks he should handle his care from this point on? Because it really is his decision. That's right, it is his decision. It's unconscionable that the Obama administration didn't lift a finger. It's incredible that this war hero uh, spent uh, almost 215 days in captivity. His PTSD is much more pronounced. But Greta, a big shout out to you. Uh, you know, leadership makes a difference. A person can make a difference. What you did with your thousands of, uh, of viewers throughout the United States and the Marine Band of Brothers, it's been incredible. You saved his life. And people, heroes like Duncan Hunter with his Marine buddies, they saved his life. And Jill, what a strong mom. Uh, she saved her son's life. So thank you to everyone who helped, but most especially you, Greta. You kept this issue alive. Now, he's right here from South Florida, and I'm waiting for Jill to tell me when she wants me to jump, I'll just say how high. We've got a great VA system here. We're going to make sure that uh, he gets the care that he needs. Maybe he wants to go back to, uh, to California. Uh, we're glad to help him. Duncan will help him in California. I'll help him here in Florida. But Con thank you to you. Thank you to Jill. Thank you to everybody who made this possible. Congresswoman, you were just part of the team. That we all were part of the team. And so, Congressman Hunter, you were also part of the team. You've been pounding on this as well. I mean, we've all been pounding on this. Um, you, I mean, I guess, you know, you must feel great tonight, too. I can tell the Congresswoman does. This is her constituent. She fought hard, too. Yeah, this is fantastic. And I Ileana's been great on this. And it was just so important to get so much, so much attention brought to bear on this. And that's what you were able to do and what I was able to do and just kind of mobilizing the American people to... Uh, to care about something that they ought to care about. And it's, it's hard to cut through the airwaves these days, but we were able to do it. And, and congratulations to all of us, and most importantly, you know, to the Mexican government who didn't expedite this in any way whatsoever. It took just as long as it would have for anybody else, number one. But number two, it's time for Andrew to, to figure out what he wants. Like you said, there's, there's two places here in California where they have some of the best uh, post-traumatic stress uh, uh, rehabilitation classes that, that there are. One's in San Diego, one's in Northern California, but it's probably important for him, number one, to be a, a, around Marines, right? And, and you know, that's what you have here in San Diego. That's why he was here in the first place. You, we have, you know, just thousands of sailors and Marines, veterans here, and he, he, he would be welcome with yeah. open arms, I'm sure. You know, Congressman, um, I, you know, it's like obviously it's going to be his choice, and we all want him to get the best care, but it's just I, I can't help but be a, a little bit angry tonight. Why didn't Mexico just deport him? I mean, 21 years, and was there ever any doubt on that sign? I mean, we all knew there was a sign there. I mean, and they didn't charge him with, with trying to sell guns or smuggle guns. They charged him with simple possession. I mean, the Mexican government, and I know I have respect for court systems, but you know what? They could have deported him in a second. We deport people every single day ourselves. Yeah, Mexico Absolutely. was uh, and you know, you know, trying to make a point. So, sorry, Eliana, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, Duncan, go ahead. Yeah, I think Mexico well, was just trying to make I... a point. <laughs> All right, Duncan, yeah, and, they, and they've had a similar case. They've had a similar case. My constituent, John Hammer, thank you to uh, Olivia, a wonderful mom, and we fought hard for him. The Mexican government uh, did nothing to free John Hammer. The mom did it. The administration, again, did nothing. It was a band of brothers. It was uh, Duncan and, it, and Ed and Matt and all these folks helping out. But you, you really did this for, uh, for uh, well, Andrew. Thank you, Greta. Well, 